Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well and today I'm going to be talking about why I sold 10% of my Boohoo position. Now I did this yesterday, um, I actually posted on the patrons group, uh, the links in the description below saying that I've sold 10% 10 of my Boohoo position, but uh, kind of everyone on that page knew that I was going to be doing that for a long time once they got back up to the £3 mark. And today I'll be covering through the reasons why I did actually sell out 10% of my position that I did have. But before I get on to it guys, if you could smash the like button, that would be absolutely amazing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go back to like two weeks ago where I was pretty much making a Boohoo video like every two days. There was a lot of Boohoo videos going out there and uh, I was talking about it quite a bit. Um, it's, it was like nearly getting more popular than Greg's. Like I talk about Greg's stock a lot, but then Boohoo was kind of challenging it. So um, yeah, I mean this channel should be really called Greg's and Boohoo uh, Stock Market Channel or something. The amount of videos that I do about them. Uh, but the, the, yeah, there was a lot of videos that was going on um, about Boohoo and back um, a month ago I think it was when Boohoo stock went from about uh, £4 all the way down to £2, I pretty much said in the video, you know, this is one of those opportunities that only comes around every, you know, couple of uh, years sometimes um, where you have a fantastic stock that, you know, absolutely sells off loads, you know, it was down 50% and when I, I said on, when this stock is under £2.50, this is what we call an easy money stock. This is one of the, the companies that has way sold off and if you put your money in here, you're going to make a lot of money. Now, I, I don't always, I don't tell you what to do with your money. Like this is all uh, for entertainment. This is all my opinion. Um, so these aren't financial recommendations, but in my opinion, when this stock got to them sort of prices, this is one of the stocks that is what we call an easy money stock. It's one of those stocks that sold off way too much, a fantastic stock where you'll make easy money in the next couple of months to years. And because of the, the amazing opportunity that was out there in front of us, I bought massively into the company. And uh, if you watch my uh, portfolio video, uh, my UK portfolio video that I did uh, two weeks ago, um, you'll see that Boohoo was a massive position in my portfolio. And it is a lot bigger than what I wanted it to be, but it's just one of those where you have a, a company that sells off so much and you look at the company and you go, this is easy money. I'm going to make easy money in this company. It's very hard when you've got when you've done the right thing and you built that cash up and you got it on the side and you you, you get that opportunity. It's hard to go. No, I don't want free money. You know, you, you take that opportunity and you get that free money, and that's what I did in Boohoo. I had the cash. I built it up. I saw Boohoo on a, a massive discount where I'm going to make easy money. Loaded it into the stock, and already, you know, if you were able to get under that two hundred uh, two pound fifty mark, um, you you guys will all be up on your positions right now uh, and I'm one of those you know I bought under there I got my average down to um, near 240 so I you know I was I'm already up over 30% on my position so I'm already seeing the rewards and that's what I mean by you know a free money stock it's just you know it's not even been that long and you're seeing massive returns on the company and some of you guys as well I think some of you guys did take the advantage in Boohoo and I'm sure you're seeing the benefits right now so the reason why I actually saw that uh, at only a small position only 10% of my stock is that it I made a video not so long ago talk about um, how to get a 100% return in the stock market and even though this is in a 100% return I'll, I'll walk you through why I didn't sell this one for a 100% return even though the shares I'm still holding that will get above a 100% return and I'll talk about why the, these certain why I just uh, cut it off in a little bit uh, but I said that it's always good to have a, a, an end goal when you buy a, a stock you know so many people get caught up about um, you know getting in the company looking into it they don't have a, 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 a way of getting out of the company and taking that profit off the table to go buy more stocks um, and one of my targets that I set in was because I'm investing so much was to just trim that position down um, every couple of well 50p the share price goes up and just take 10% off that table every time um, and I'll still have a very nice position that will run the course over the long term uh, and bring me in a lot of great rewards that will go over 100% but now the, the reason is, is because when I invested into this company and I looked, right, what do I want from this company? You know, obviously it, the stock at a fair value right now is probably about £3.50-ish, maybe a little higher than that towards £4. Um, so that's probably the fair value, but I'm obviously investing this for the long term, you know, two to five years. Now I'm probably not investing in this company for five years because it's a bit more of a, a, bit more of a fast fashion. So that means there's a, a, a lot of risk that um, the, the company could go out of trend very quickly. So it's not a company that I want to hold for five years because I don't know where this industry will be at at five years. You know, there might be another massive online brand that takes Boohoo's position. And that's what I've got to be really careful of. So I could kind of, I don't want to go too long term, but I look at Boohoo and I think, right, where's this company? 
what's this company worth in two years time and when I you know work out what the revenue should increase to the profitability I feel like the company will be a, a probably a valuation of around about six pound or plus in two years time and uh, obviously we'll be nearly towards a 200% return then which will be fantastic so uh, I will be holding a lot of shares to there but obviously I bought a lot of shares as well uh, and that's what I've got to be really careful of now obviously so I've got to uh, I bought a lot of stock uh, I've got a fair valuation where I want to sell a lot of it out but the problem is this I bought very heavy because of it being an easy money stock so what that meant for my portfolio basically you would have saw if you watch my UK um, portfolio video that I did um, the other day uh, you'd see boohoo actually like made pretty much like uh, this much on my portfolio which is a, a, a big chunk you know um, it is a, a bit a bit too too big of a chunk really um so yeah we you know we're talking that it was pushing towards uh 40 percent maybe of my portfolio which is really heavy to have only one company taking up that amount of your portfolio because what what would happen um i'm not saying this would is what happened but it, you know you always got to take this in is what happens if something happens to boohoo let's just say the you know they actually get taken to court or something because of the whole Leicester factory situation or let's just say something happens to them and Boohoo makes this much percentage of my portfolio up and it, the stock absolutely crashes and um, that's a big chunk of my portfolio that's at risk and I'll see my portfolio get absolutely slammed for it and this is why you kind of want to you can have big positions in there but you, you know you don't really want your big positions being more than really 20 20 25 percent of your kind of um, portfolio um, so if anything ever happens to these these companies you know it's, it's not taking your portfolio hugely down and obviously boohoo at the moment is taking a a big massive chunk of my portfolio up you know something like 40 percent of my portfolio so if boohoo was to absolutely crash then my portfolio would sink with it and that's something i've got to be really careful of and another thing i've got to be really careful of is what happens to boohoo because if boohoo share price keeps on increasing and my portfolio kinds of stays the same what we kind of see happen is Boohoo actually naturally just starts to take up a little bit more of my portfolio. And if I don't watch what's going on, Boohoo, because its share price goes up in value and everything else in my portfolio stays the same, Boohoo could actually naturally end up coming in a bigger position in the portfolio and might even take up 50% of the portfolio. And we, I don't really want that to happen. So right now, Boohoo is somewhere like, like that in my portfolio. And... Like I said, that's still uh, that's still a bit too much that I'm comfortable with. It's a bit too much. Um, it needs to be a little bit less, uh, in my opinion, for me to feel a lot more relaxed about it. So what I've got to do is make sure that Boohoo doesn't carry on building and takes over my portfolio. So like I said, I invested into it because it was an easy money stock and I've kind of seen the benefits right now, but I've got to make sure I manage the position well as well. So if Boohoo carries on going up, I've got to just make sure that Boohoo just kind of stays a little bit trimmed down and we start to get it back into this position where it's not as much as the portfolio. And then same again, when Boohoo stock goes up a little bit more, just keep trimming it down. And then Boohoo, we can see it starts to get a smaller position in my portfolio. And eventually if we get to Boohoo where it's something like that in my portfolio, and then I can leave the rest to run up to about six pound that's where I'm happy with. So we kind of got to get Boohoo in my, right now in my position down to 20% of the portfolio. So that's why I'm kind of selling out Boohoo. Nothing's really fundamentally changed. It's all about just managing my portfolio now just to make sure it's not all in one company. Because like I say, if something was ever to happen to Boohoo, it would really sink my portfolio down. Um, and yeah, that's the whole reason why I did sell out Boohoo and just sold 10%. And like I said, there'll be a couple more times where I just trim the position slightly just to make sure it doesn't take over the portfolio and I manage that position quite well. But like I said, the rest of it here, that big chunk of it will be the, the position that I'm, you know, will be holding all the way up to, uh, you know, for probably about another two years and where I'll probably eventually sell out at about six pound. Um, so that's kind of my plan with Boohoo at the moment. And I thought I'd just update you with that. I thought it was some good information about as well, about how to manage a, a big position in the portfolio portfolio that might help some of you guys as well so as always guys thanks for watching and if you could subscribe if you haven't that'd be awesome if you like the video as well that'd be super and i'll see you in the next video